Hey everyone, Jay Stream with here again another episode of Sports Plus. Today I want to get my thoughts on the breaking news in the NFL. Deshaun Jackson has been cut by the Philadelphia Eagles. Alright, so this news came on my phone at about noontime central time in Chicago. Um, so I believe this happened about 1 p.m. Um, Eastern time in Philadelphia. It was announced that the Eagles were going to cut Deshaun Jackson. And it came to me as a surprise. I mean, I, I heard... Um, in recent weeks that they were trying to trade him, possibly to the Jets, is what I heard about a week and a half ago, um, of course, before the Jets signed Michael Vick. Um, and I, I just, I didn't, at that time, I guess I didn't understand the magnitude of what was going on. I thought it was a contract dispute, and they kind of, he wanted to, uh, he didn't, they didn't want to give him a pay cut and whatnot, because I know they did pay Riley Cooper a bunch of money. Um, Riley Cooper was a star wide receiver for them last year. But um, after after quickly looking into some research this afternoon at about noontime, I discovered that the Eagles cut Deshaun Jackson because of gang ties um, or, or supposed gang ties that they think that he has um, in the Philadelphia area, I believe, or... I, to be more exact, I believe it is within um, California where he was, uh, where he came out of. He, I believe, he went to Cal, if I'm not mistaken, um, University of California. But uh, yeah, I mean, all I can say about this is kind of unscripted here. I sent out a tweet. I remember saying a couple hours ago, "How could the Eagles do this?" And you know, he's a he's a player in his prime career. You don't you just don't see a player in his prime being caught like this for reasons other than contract, but um, it's just kind of shocked me a little bit. Obviously, he's having issues, um, and I think it is smart for, the, smart for the team now that I look at it and I'm able to reflect on it for a couple of minutes after, wide, after going on the Internet some more. Um, it is smart for the Eagles, um, you know, to anticipate what might happen in the future. Um, it's, a, it's a tough decision, obviously. Right now, they, they have two... Um, receivers, they have Jeremy Macklin and Riley Cooper, but so Deshaun Jackson last year, that offense, when, when, um, Jeremy Macklin was out, um, that offense ran, ran through Deshaun Jackson, so obviously that's, that's, that was a huge decision they had to make, and a very painful decision, but, um, I think first and foremost, for the organizational, um, for the organization themselves, you, you cannot really chastise them, because they are looking, they're, they're looking out for themselves, they don't want to know Aaron Hitt. Aaron Hernandez situation, how that how that unfolded. They don't want to be part of that if that does happen. As far as Deshaun Jackson in you know his personal life and um, his NFL career, I do think and this is what exactly what, what I said in that tweet before at about noontime. Um, Deshaun Jackson is in the prime of his career. Um, he you know, a couple years ago kind of laid laid off and laid off the gas and was not as dynamic. Um, but that was because he was in a contract year. He was unhappy. Uh, last year, as I said, the offense ran through him in Philadelphia. Um, so he's obviously very happy with that, I would assume. Um, but now that he's not in Philadelphia, I don't know about his playing career. He obviously has to, um, you know, He's going to have teams going to want to go after him, but he's got, you got to clear up your personal issues first. I think this is first and foremost what I'm trying to stress, obviously. Um, you know, it's it's not a laughing matter when, when you see somebody who's in the NFL. A lot of, the, a lot you know, in, in gangs or, or supposedly in gangs. Um, you know, a lot of times when I think of the NFL, and uh, I've, I even heard this on ESPN, so I'm kind of paraphrasing this a little bit, but, um, you know, a lot of these a lot of these kids and players that come in from college to the NFL don't have great backgrounds. And um, the NFL is kind of looked as, looking to be a rehab kind of a program, I guess, if you will. Um, you know, when you make it to the NFL, you have your rookie season. Maybe there's some hazing going on, which is unfortunate, um, as we saw with Jonathan Martin with that, with that circumstance, obviously in the bullying circumstances. But you would think after a while that you would kind of grow out of whatever you know trouble you you um, you were in, you know whether it be any type of violence, any type of gangs, any type of you know foolish friends or whatnot. And obviously this is not the case, unfortunately, with Deshaun Jackson. So it's obviously a a uh, disconnect there, and I hope he is able to solve his issues. Maybe if he needs to get professional help um, in order to. Um, 
and get past these issues. I wish he would do so because he is a star talent in the NFL. And from what I've seen from the interviews that I've seen, especially last year, he was he was seemed like a very happy person, seemed like a very friendly person. So, uh, um, yeah, it's kind of shocking to me a little bit still. But you got to do what you got to do if you're the Philadelphia Eagles. And like I said, I hope Deshaun Jackson gets, um, you know, if he if he needs the professional help. Um, and is able to resolve these issues and um, get back on the football field because he's a hell of a talent. I think, you know, half the half the league, if he were to able to get past his issues, will obviously be knocking on his door and be giving him phone calls, wanting his services. So, uh, yeah, that's just my reaction to this really fast. A little bit after thinking about this, um, yeah. So again, Deshaun Jackson, wide receiver for the Philadelphia Eagles, has been cut. Um, he is no longer on the team. So I believe the two wide receivers that the team has and going looking forward to team I think I mentioned this before they have two wide receivers um, Jeremy Macklin who came off a, uh, a torn ACL I believe it was MCL in the preseason if I'm not mistaken and you have Riley Cooper who had a breakout season last year with uh, with Nick Foles and so he could I think he can get it done but they need more um, as a team looking forward Besides Sean Jackson, Deshaun Jackson, they they need something to uh, you know wide receiver, and I think they can definitely address this in free agency. I think I heard that uh, James Jones was released, if I'm not mistaken. They can maybe or he, well, he was a free agent, I believe, so they could go after James Jones if they needed to. I think as a solid uh, you know three guy maybe they did release Jason Avant uh, before free agency, so that's another wide another wide receiver gone. So it's interesting to see what they're doing, but I think again it is smart. What they did after you know after looking at all the evidence and uh, listening to interviews and kind of looking into this, um, you know that Deshaun Jackson was released. They're looking out for themselves. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching this episode of Sports Buzz. I'm going to get my quick thoughts on Deshaun Jackson again being cut by the Philadelphia Eagles, and uh, he will no, no longer be on the team. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this episode of Sports Buzz. Have a nice day. Bye bye.